Hi everybody. In this short video or 10 minute video, I am going to create a Blazor Gallery project because I want to test my NuGet package that everything works. Before I start the timer, I just want to tell you if you don't want to use NuGet, you can also just clone the project or you can download the zip file. Just be aware if you download the zip file, right click it in Windows and uncheck or click unblock and then click apply otherwise you'll get this the files will be marked as from the web and it won't work but if you're going to follow along I'm going to go ahead and show you my temp folder is empty let me uh, go to my temp folder it's not empty so we're going to empty it and now what we're going to do is start our timer so let me get everything all closed here okay and my little countdown timer so we'll start it over here 10 minutes on the clock so I'm gonna go ahead and get started the first thing you have to do is create a SQL Server database named Blazor Gallery and I already have one so I'm gonna call mine Blazor Gallery 2 just remember yours is just Blazor Gallery unless you just want to follow along for some reason alright and then now the next thing we need to do is in the project we're going to use the .NET CLI or command line interface to create our project. So I'm going to open Visual Studio, click continue without code, tools, and go to package manager, NuGet package manager, package manager console. I'm going to change directory to C colon backslash temp. Oops, you have to use computers are so picky. Okay, sorry, it has to be case sensitive. So I kind of tired on a Friday night so okay so we're from doing nothing all week except for this alright so now what we're gonna do is go back to our instructions because I don't want to get this wrong here's the live site by the way I know I'm on the clock here but this is uh, the, the live link if you want to go test out the live site but go back to our github I hate having too many things open I get way confused so back to github we go and this is Blazor Gallery right here. Did get its first star yesterday, so looking for that second star. And now here's a screenshot, and here's another video that's going to be very similar to this one. But it's been a month, and I want to see what I broke, or see if I broke anything in the last month, because sometimes new features have unintended consequences. And then the next thing we need to do is install the NuGet package. So I'm going to copy this, go to Visual Studio and paste it in right here. Now here I already have it, but if you didn't, it will just say installed 1.5.7 or whatever the latest version is. And then now we're gonna go back to GitHub and I'm gonna take the next line where this is where we actually create the project in the temp folder or whatever your working directory is. Okay, the project was created. So now what we need to do is in our database called Blazor Gallery 2. Okay, there's no table, so there's two files we need to open. If we we're gonna go to and I'll show you open file and go to Blazor Gallery database .sql, and that is going to be I'm going to my temp folder. Sorry, it's in the in the temp folder. You just clone and make this a list or details in the SQL folder. Click on Blazor Gallery Database SQL. Now I have to type in Blazor Gallery 2, but you don't you don't have to do that. Okay, and then next I'm going to close this, and I'm going to open one more file, and this is Insert Admin. This is going to stay zero here because I don't need email verification on my when you're running locally, but on my server you have to verify your email before you can upload just to kind of keep some of the weirdos away from my site. Okay, and now at least weirdos with an email willing to tell me their email address. That's not exactly verification, but it's more than just allowing anybody to upload. Okay, so now we have, uh, we need to execute this. All right, and then if we go to our tables, just to refresh. Okay, we've got everything. And also here's all the store procedures that were just created. Okay, so everything's looking good. Now we need to create a connection string. So if we go back to GitHub, and the, uh, there's a app, I put this link to my GitHub project if you want this project. It's called Connection String Builder, and it's in the Tools folder of datatier.net. 
if you cloned datatier.net, just be aware that you have to have Visual Studio 2019 to clone datatier.net because it references Visual Studio itself. But if you're going to install the release version, it also installs Connection String Builder. And I'm, that's what I'm going to be running right here. So here I'm going to just type in my server name. If I can type. Type in the database name. For me, it's going to be Blazor Gallery 2. For you, just Blazor Gallery. Build connection string, test and copy. Okay, so now we need to create a system environment variable. Now, I already have this, but I'm going to turn my magnifier on just so you can see it. Uh, so just click new here for you, but I'm going to go ahead and just double click here and I'm going to paste in what's on my clipboard. Sorry, my magnifier jumps around when I do that. But that is uh, Blazor Gallery 2. And now we need to create two more environment variables. Next is going to be called Blazor Gallery Key Code. And here you just make up a string. Actually, though, I've already got this, so I'm going to just double click on it because I don't want to add a second one. I can't, actually. But just uh, make up any string for the value. And this string is going to be used to create password hashes. So make sure that you remember that. Store it somewhere you're not going to lose it. OK. And then the final one you're going to need is Blazor Gallery URL. So click New again and type in, uh, that's the wrong one, Blazor Gallery URL. And I'll zoom in again so you can see that. And there's the address. It's https colon colon or forward slash forward slash localhost colon 44330. Okay. Just hit OK. So all that's going to be the same. And then what I'm going to do now is just hit OK. Close down magnifier again because I'm blind as a bat. And now we're going to run our project and hope everything works. That's probably not the like competence there, but go to Blazor Gallery Solution. And I'm going to start the project. Okay, now I do this like every time. You'd think I would learn by now, but Visual Studio wants to open a console window unless you change this to IIS Express, which that should be the default. But we'll run this one more time. Pretend you didn't see that. You might get a message that says you have to trust your self-signed certificate because this is running HTTPS. If it does, just hit yes to everything they ask you. All right, and now I'm going to type in my name, and I'm going to type in. Oh, I need to sign up. I can't log in until you sign up. So type in my name, username, in different order, and then my email. Go ahead and show the world here because I'm lonely. And then next, password. I've already got one here, so I'm going to use my Blazor Gallery password so I don't get confused. Paste it in. Now, I will tell you, just like if I hit a, I'm putting an extra character there just to show you, it says the uh, passwords don't match. So I'll do that again. Okay, we're going to try that one more time. Let me go back to my environment variables, make sure I did this right. Sorry, my dog is big time snoring right now. Yeah, that should be right. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out why that didn't work, but most problems occur between keyboard and chair. Okay, that time it did work, so don't know why it didn't work the first time. Might just be uh, my computer's tired tonight. All right, and now I need to type paste in my password again, and I'll go ahead and click remember because we're almost out of time. Okay, and now it just says... Um, don't upload porn to my server, but so I'm just going to agree to that. And then finally, make your profile public, which if you say yes, it'll show up here in the main gallery. Now, each user gets a home folder whenever you sign up. So I'm going to go ahead and upload some files here. Let me go up a directory. You can upload up to 10 files at a time. I'll just do like seven. And for some reason, okay, that seemed to work okay. Sometimes if you have an odd number here, it'll kind of randomly place them, but that looked okay. Other thing you can do is you can add another folder. So I'll call this folder Stripes, and I'll hit Upload. I'm sorry, my dog is big time snoring. I'm sure you can hear it, but I'm going to just upload five more files, and we're almost done. Open. Okay, that's what I was talking about. If you have an odd number, sometimes it looks weird. Okay. And then also, if you want to rename a folder, just double click on it, and I'll just call this like colors, and hit enter to save. 
if you want to uh, delete a folder you can just click uh, get a confirmation I'm gonna say no to that now you can view any image a full-size version and if you want to copy a direct link to the image I'm gonna open up a new and private window and paste that in just to show you that works and then in the last 40 seconds I'll go back to the users folder you can also copy a user's uh, folder, so I'll go to a new and private window and paste and go. Okay, and that worked here, except for here you're in read-only mode, and I'll go ahead and close down the in private window. And uh, next, we'll go back to the main gallery. Okay, now that did not appear to work. That should be showing. I think, let me log out. I'm going to go ahead and my 10 minutes is up, but I want to sign out and log back in and see if I get a message for uh, making the uh, making it public. Let me. It might ask me that again because sometimes I don't. Let me. Oh, wrong. Let me get the password again from my password manager. Let's find out why. Sorry, my dog snoring's kind of messing with me. Okay, that, that's what I was afraid of. For some reason, that did not work. So now, if we go back to main gallery, it will show you your last 20 images here in the gallery. And you can also view a full screen version. So I went a little bit over, but I was talking a little bit. But anyway, that's Blazor Gallery. Um, I do want to show you briefly the uh, step eight and nine is please leave a star on this project. If you think it's worth the price of free, and please go to my YouTube channel and subscribe because that would, uh, I'm only about uh, 550 subscribers and 3,000 hours away from making $2 a month. Woohoo! But by the time, by year 20, 2057, I'll probably uh, be a subscriber. I mean, getting paid from YouTube, but. Who knows? That's the good old days They're coming up, the good old future days. But $2 probably won't be. I'm really worried about the U.S. dollar, but that's another story. They, they print money out of thin air and expect it to last forever, and other countries are getting tired of it. But that's, you know, kind of what happens in the world. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Peace out.